Hello, welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 19, Burning Down the House. So here's an important survival tip tool you can use in uh, your Cataclysm wandering. So let's say, for example, you need to get into this pizza parlor desperately for whatever reason. And there's just too many zombies in the area. You're too worried about going into the place during the daytime. Um, here's a tip you can use to try to make a distraction. So you can set fire to buildings in the game. You may have done so either purposely or accidentally in the past, but uh, a few things you can do with burning buildings to your benefit. One is to make a huge distraction. It makes a lot of noise and a lot of light, which is going to naturally draw any nearby zombies towards the fire, and a lot of them will just wander right into the fire and burn themselves up. So it's a good strategic tool to both thin out a herd of zombies in the local area, but it also provides a nice distraction. So I can set a fire, let it get working, uh, so let some time pass to get the blaze going and let the zombies uh, get attention towards it, and then I can work my way around, let's say, to try to explore some other buildings nearby. Now there's a secondary benefit that I'm going to show you once the fire that we're about to set is going to get going, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and move towards the building here. Here's the house, and there's grabber zombies in the area. They can't see me because it's dark. Um, we're just going to smash our way in here. Normally you would want to loot a house first, probably before you set it on fire, but for this example we're just going to go right to it. So I'm going to use my lighter, we're going to set the bed on fire, we're going to set the counter on fire. Yep, that's a closet. We're going to try to get out of here before we burn ourselves to death. That's the bathroom. Okay, let's also set the dining room table on fire. It does take time for the fire to kind of take effect, so I usually try to set it in a number of different locations. We'll go ahead and do this one as well. All right, I think that should be good. So let's go ahead and head outside, work our way. Yeah, I was going to work my way around those zombies, but let's go back out this direction. Hello, zombie. Taking me apart. Bad zombie. Leave me alone. Alright, we're going to break contact with him. It's dark, so it's pretty easy to lose him. And we're just going to kind of hang out in the area of the building, but not close enough to be affected directly. So, what we're looking for, or anticipating, is that the zombies are going to start actually moving towards the building. We can see one right there. Um... But we need to give some time, and it's raining, so that's going to actually cause a bit of a problem. I'm going to turn the rain off, just so that doesn't uh, affect things. Uh, that's not what I wanted. There's change weather, right there. Let's um, just go to clear. Alright, so I want a good view of the fire, and make sure it keeps working the way I intend. So. I'm just going to let some time pass. Ignore the sounds. Fire starting to catch. You can see the building starting to go up. We're going to let some more time pass. Alright, now we got a real fire going. And you can see the light is creeping out. We're still in the dark. Actually, no, we're cloudy, so we've got to be a little careful. Alright, now the fire is kind of going really good clip. Zombies are coming towards it, and they're burning to death. Some of them. There he goes. Come on, jump in there. Ooh. How are you checking me? <laughs> There's quite a few zombies. Unfortunately, we can't see around the whole building during the uh, the nighttime here. But uh, the fire's caught. It's making a huge amount of noise, generating light. But it's freeing us up to travel around. And we could go check out other nearby buildings while that light is, or the uh, fire is going on. Much, much less chance that we're going to encounter any zombies out this way while we've got that happening. So it makes a great distraction. <laughs> Wasn't expecting explosions. The fire might have spread to some nearby uh, vehicles and caught them on fire. You can see that zombies right up here. Let's see what they do. I'm not sure how that one kid there is, keeps getting uh, notice on us, but uh, we're going to move out of the way here. The other zombies aren't really tracking me necessarily. Well, that skeleton is now, but the rest of them are heading towards the noises. 
So that's one of the benefits. Let's go ahead and move back out of here. Break contact with the zombies again. Alright, we're changing directions just so we make sure we're out of their area. Alright, see these zombies right here? Watch what they're doing. Right into the fire. And right into the fire again. And now this group is heading that direction. So, if I had already looted that house, there's no reason not to just set it on fire. And all those zombies are just diving right into the fire. That's awesome for us. Now, you do have to be careful about nearby buildings, vehicles, and such. The fire can spread to or buildings that are nearby. So, if I didn't care about this bar, I wouldn't really mind if it burned down as well. Just cause even more of a distraction. And it looks like it did spread to the bar. So, the bar is now burning as well. So, that may be where some of the explosions are coming from. Um, that's all fine with me. All the local zombies are busy throwing themselves into the fire, getting themselves killed, providing a great distraction for me to wander around to the other nearby buildings. So this is a wonderful way to uh, give yourself some room to breathe. So newer players, especially early in the game, don't forget to use this as a strategic use. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention, we're going to demonstrate here in just a moment. So I'm going to move back away. We're going to let some time pass. We're going to let quite a bit of time pass, actually. Come back that direction. Looks like the fire is mostly out. And we do have some zombies. I'm going to get rid of the zombies. Just... <laughs> They're still diving their way into the fire. So hopefully newer players are getting an idea just how powerful this strategy can be. I don't know how many zombies we just killed in this little town area just by setting these buildings on fire, but... All the zombies from two or three map spaces away have probably dived into that fire now, freeing us up to grab resources and loot from all the other buildings nearby. And all it cost was a couple of uh, uses of our lighter or matches. All right, here's the other thing I want to mention. Now that the fire's gone out in a number of spaces here, take a look at what's on the ground. So we've got nails, nails, nails. The whole outer edge of this thing is just full of nails. This is the other thing I wanted to mention. This is a great way of getting two important resources for building. Nails and rocks. So if you have resources that need a lot of nails, or if you have crafting items or construction for furniture and such that need lots of nails, this is a pretty quick and easy way to get a bunch. Just pick a building off by itself that you've already looted and you have no further use of. Set it on fire, let it burn out, and then you can come down and grab up all the nails that you want. So I can just say nails, set those to auto pickup, and just walk around grabbing up nails. Now rocks also, so two rocks, two rocks, two rocks, a rock. So you can get a lot of rocks this way, and if you happen to have a shovel, we can go ahead and wheel the shovel, and we can dig out these spaces here, and we get Nails, ceramic shards, nails, nails, you get the idea. So, great resource, nails, rocks, and some other random debris that can be found in there. But uh, if you need either one of those for construction purposes, don't hesitate to set a building on fire. Try to do it strategically, take advantage of the distraction it's going to provide against the local zombies, and have fun. Hope you found this information helpful. As always, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Visit my Discord channel if you'd like to chat about this or any of the other games that we cover on the channel. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.